Hi everyone, I'm Chris from Red River, and today we're going to show you how intuitive it is to create SharePoint sites and content, and how easy it is to use all of the great functionality that SharePoint has to offer. One of the things we hear all the time here at Red River is that SharePoint isn't user friendly. And if this were 10 years ago or five years ago, we would agree. But what used to be primarily an IT owned and governed platform could not be simpler for users today, even with little to no technical expertise. So let's dive in and show you how user friendly SharePoint is. Creating sites in SharePoint Online could not be easier. Once you log into O365 using the browser, use the app launcher to navigate to the SharePoint app. From the SharePoint app, click Create Site. You have a couple options. Team sites are more focused on content and collaboration, while communication sites are more informational. Select your template. Give your site a name. There are some other optional and pre-selected options that you can tweak and then click next. Finally, if you know other users who you want to invite at this time, add them and then click finish. Your site is created and ready. We'll modify our site homepage in a minute, but first let's add a quick FAQ page for our new team members. Adding a page to our site is easy. Click the new menu at the top of the page, and then click page. Select your template, and then select create page. Give your page a title. Add your content. And then publish. Your page is ready to go. When you publish a page for the first time, there are some options that allow others to find the page. Common way for users to find the page is via the site navigation on the left side, which is always available as you navigate the site. From the menu, after first publishing a page, you can add the page to navigation. But what if you still need to make edits to the page before you make it available to everyone? What if you want to add an external link or a link to somewhere completely different within SharePoint? No problem. Regardless of what you want to link to, when you're ready, simply copy the link for the page. In your left nav, click Edit. Find where you want the FAQ page to appear in the navigation and click Add. Paste your link into the address and give your link a display name. Finally, click Save. Back on the home page of your newly created site, it couldn't be easier to add, remove, and rearrange functionality. First, put your page in edit mode. For this particular site, I won't need news or quick links, so I'm going to click those components and then the trash can to delete them. I think documents should have greater visibility, so I'm going to move those to the left. I simply click the functionality I want to move, click and hold the move icon, and drag and drop it where I want it on the page. For this particular site, I'd like a weather widget 
and a calendar keep, to keep track of events. For each of these, I simply click the Add button. I'm going to first add weather. Type the city that you want to track. Then I'm going to add my calendar. I'm going to put this particular web part in edit mode and find the calendar I want to track. Republish the page. And your home page is ready for everyone to use. As we said before, SharePoint has come a long way over the last couple of decades. Today, SharePoint intranets and sites look great, but they work even better. And they're easy to use, even for users who have no technical expertise. So the next time someone says SharePoint isn't user friendly, send them over to Root River and we can show them how easy SharePoint can be. That's it for today. Remember to like and subscribe and we'll talk to you again soon.